welcome back to Gerald Chodak. In this video we're going to talk about high frequency ultrasound as a way of treating localized prostate cancer. This is a non-invasive treatment which is relatively easy to do. It's done under anesthesia. A probe is placed into the rectum and then ultrasound is focused around the prostate to heat it and the heat can actually kill the prostate cancer cells. Now this treatment is relatively new, meaning it hasn't been around for 10 to 15 years. So we don't have many or really don't have any long-term results to be able to say how this treatment compares to other treatments that are currently available. The adma advantage, the main advantage is that it's non-invasive, so there's no cutting as you would have in some surgical procedure. Uh, the other thing is you can redo the treatment. So if it turns out that cancer is not eradicated, you can go through the procedure again. So those are two of its advantages. Now its disadvantages are mainly we just don't know how well it's going to work long term. We have some short term results. But with prostate cancer, you need to look at 10 and 15 years out after a treatment to really know what's happening to someone. We do know that it can cause complications like other treatments. It can cause impotence, problems with erections. It can cause urinary difficulties, infections that are fairly common. And it can even call, cause a fistula or a, a hole between your intestine and your urinary tract, although that's relatively uncommon. As a treatment, I think my main concern for you, if you're considering it, is to understand that we really just don't know how well it's going to work. Uh, the FDA has not approved it in the United States, but you can go outside of the United States and have this treatment done as long as you're willing to pay cash up front for it. Uh, in my opinion, it would be nice for us to really have long-term information to be able to say to a patient, you know, compared to other treatments, here is what we can say about this treatment. But it has not been studied as well as it needs to be in order for patients to get good information about what to expect from this treatment. So who's a candidate if you're going to do it? Well, a man with localized prostate cancer, ideally someone that has a low PSA and a low Gleason score, say something less than 7 on the Gleason scoring system. Those would be the best candidates, uh, mainly because it probably doesn't matter what you do if you're in that category. The results are probably going to be fairly similar. Is it a good idea to treat a patient with high-grade high prostate cancer or a high PSA? I don't think so. I think you need to be aware that there's just not enough information for us to tell you whether it's going to do the job. And if you have a very aggressive cancer, those are the ones that are most life-threatening. You want to choose a treatment, if you're going to be treated, have a treatment that's going to do the best job of eradicating the disease. And at the present time, we can't tell you that HIFU is going to do the job. If you're considering it as an option, questions you want to ask of your doctor are, how many have they done? What are their long-term complications and short-term complication rates in their experience? And what is the success rate that they've had so far? Keep in mind that the studies that have been done have found a positive biopsy for cancer after the treatment is done a year later in maybe 10, 15, 20 percent or more in some of the small studies that have been completed. So. Bottom line is, it's interesting, it's worth further investigation. There are companies supporting research in the United States, hoping that we're going to get that information available to you. But as we consider 2008, it's probably not the best way to control a significant cancer. Thank you.